The trial has finally resumed. And so it stands now, we'll go over the 10 newest facts that we have about what we know so far from the court case, what will likely be uncovered as we enter into the final week before the fateful verdict. Number 10, the honeymoon phase. Back when Amber Heard first gave her testimony on her first day on the stand, she detailed the early stages of her and Johnny's romance. It was a whirlwind and described as incredible in the beginning. She lets us in on how good it was before turning sour while on the stand, stating, quote, We talked about books, music, and poetry. We liked a lot of the same stuff. Obscure writers and interesting books and pieces of poetry I haven't heard anyone else know or reference or like. After they first met, they were basically madly in love with each other and felt like they could connect intellectually. She describes Johnny as very well-read and charismatic, and she would routinely leave his office with a few books he'd lent her. Quote, I knew who he was. I wasn't a fan of his work. I wasn't familiar with him, but I knew who he was. I knew he was one of the most famous people in the world. It was weird because he's twice my age and this famous actor, and here we are getting along about old books and the blues. I thought it was unusual and remarkable. I left there feeling like, wow. Number nine, when she fell in love. Amber also recounts when she felt like she officially fell in love with Johnny. She says it was in 2011, after they had finished filming their movie, The Rum Diary, and were traveling the world to promote it. Quote, I felt like this man knew me and saw me in a way that nobody else had. He made me feel seen, made me feel like a million dollars. That kind of feeling where he just lavished gifts, lavished expressions of love, and how he'd never met a woman like me. I remember he took the foil off of a bottle and put it on my ring finger, and I had only been with him like days. Maybe it was weeks at the time. It just felt very intense. At the time of this romance, Johnny was in the process of separating from Vanessa Paradis. Even though they never married, they were considered in a common law relationship, which goes through the same divorce proceedings, especially if children are involved. But Johnny similarly fell for her. When he was on the stand, he called her his perfect partner. Number eight, Amber recounts the first time Johnny hit her. The first time Johnny Depp allegedly hit Amber Heard has been revealed while she was on the stand. It occurred after she asked about a tattoo of his, the famous Why No. The tattoo came from Johnny's relationship with Winona Ryder, and it used to say Winona forever, but after they broke up, he changed it to Wino. Apparently, when she poked fun at the tattoo, he slapped her when she started to laugh. Quote, I will never forget it. It changed my life. She also added that he was inebriated at the time of the slap. Although Johnny did say that Amber took issues with his tattoo, he denied hitting her over the issue though and characterized it as an absurd reason to hit someone. Seven, the turn of the relationship. Amber has revealed to us just how the relationship started to turn from amazing and idyllic to terrifying. In a retelling, Amber said their relationship changed after Johnny broke his longtime sobriety after a period of abstaining from alcohol. She describes him as jealous and often accusing her of having affairs with other people. Amber also told the court that Johnny's alleged attacks would coincide with him using the substances he swore he would never do again. Johnny, for his part, previously testified and refuted the idea that he was ever out of control while he was inebriated. Although, Amber describes one specific instance where she said she was headbutted and repeatedly punched in the face by Depp in an attack she believed was going to end in her death. Quote, he was pummeling me. I thought, this is how I die. He's going to kill me now. He's going to kill me and he won't even have realized it. Number six, more instances of harm. Amber also recounts several other instances of harm. She describes being penetrated by a bottle in which she alleged was harm done by Johnny. She said she woke up to hear Marilyn Manson music playing and then noticed a brown substance on the wall, which she later identified as blood. Depp had previously testified about his finger having been cut off and about using his blood and paint to write messages on the walls of one of the couple's homes. Depp claimed Heard had become enraged, throwing a bottle of vodka at him and severing his finger. But for her part, Amber says that when she woke up, his finger was already severed and she discovered the messages on the wall in his blood. Amber also revealed that she was hurt from the bottle. Quote, I wasn't thinking about pain, I was heartbroken. I realized eventually that I could be hurt because I was bleeding. But I convinced myself it wasn't broken or that the bottle wasn't broken or it would be a lot worse. And the discomfort paled in comparison to the heartbreak. I had just married this man. Number five, Amber hitting Johnny. Amber also describes how she had hit Depp in what she alleges was the only instance of actually doing that. In their LA penthouse after an argument, Heard accuses Depp of cheating on her with a woman he'd been with years before, saying she found out he had been to the woman's house after she and Depp were married. She told the court she yelled obscenities at Depp and at one point went into their neighboring penthouse, which Depp also owned, to see her sister who had been staying there. Heard alleged that Depp followed her there and grabbed at her. 
She said she returned to their shared penthouse onto the top floor with her sister. He threw a can up at him, then bolted up the stairs and grabbed the back of her head. She then states that her sister put herself between the couple and in that moment, Heard feared her sister might fall down the stairs and she saw Depp raise his hand to hurt her. So she swung at him. Quote, in all my relationship with Johnny, I hadn't landed a blow. For the first time I hit him, like actually hit him square in the face, but he didn't push my sister down the stairs. Number four, Amber wanting to leave before. Amber also revealed to the court that she had tried leaving him before 2016. She said she was heartbroken trying to reconcile the good and bad parts of their relationship. Quote, I wanted to want to leave him. I wanted him to get better. And he expressed to me so many times when he was in that period of getting clean and sober, you saved my life, baby girl, you saved my life. Everyone else is saying that to me and I believed it. Number three, Amber readjusts her testimony. And now on Monday, Amber is back on the stand to continue recounting her relationship with Johnny. In the first few minutes of her being back on the stand, she readjusts her testimony and tells the court that the alleged harm began earlier than she previously recalled before. Quote, I'm embarrassed to say I think I would have liked to believe that the period of time in which I fell in love with Johnny and he wasn't violent to me lasted longer than it did. But she said she reviewed notes from her therapist and says that there was harm done in 2012 rather than 2013 like she previously stated. When asked by her attorney why she didn't recall these moments earlier, she stated, quote, that's not how my memory works. Number two, audio recordings of Johnny filming Amber. At the time of writing this, audio recordings were played from 2015 when Amber was being recorded by Johnny without her knowledge. When she discovers that he's filming her, Heard tells Depp that recording her is quote, secretive and deceitful. You had trouble with me before when you said to me that you didn't feel like you were told I was recording you. So please stop, please stop. Johnny then says something too quiet for us to hear before loudly telling Amber to listen to him. Quote, you are not a school teacher. Shut the fuck up. Listen to me and then you can fucking respond. Understand? You ain't nobody's fucking mom. You ain't no school teacher. Don't pretend to be fucking authoritative with me. You don't fucking exist. Number one, Amber addresses viral audio where she admits to hitting Johnny. Although she previously stated that she'd only hit Johnny once at the top of the stairs to defend her sister, there was a viral recording that says otherwise. In the clip, Amber says to Johnny, quote, I was hitting you, I was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Although Amber admits on tape to starting the fight, Amber on the stand claimed that it was a physically intimate consensual hitting that took place. She says that Johnny hit her in the bedroom provocatively and she reactively hit him back. She said the incident in the clip is when she barricaded herself in a bedroom and Depp tried to break in. She hit him to get him out of the room. Quote, I hit his arms, his body as he was trying to prevent me from closing the door. I knew what he would do to me when he got to the other side. That's all so far for the newest facts from the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest. Just a reminder as well, we do have a playlist now of all of our Johnny Depp Amber Heard coverage, so be sure to check that out. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Sierra. See you next time.